We are pulling into Bazatere, St. Kitts, uh, of the island chain, St. Kitts and Nevis. Nevis is back over my shoulder. There it is in the background. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning. Um, and today we are doing an ATV ride with Spectrum. Uh, we didn't book it through the cruise, we booked it through TripAdvisor. Um, so it's a four hour, or at least they say a four hour ATV tour. And then they drop us at a beach bar. So looking forward to today. There you go. Beautiful. Yes. All right. You're going to learn today then. <laughs> all right. So you're going to have, I'm told them the different contours in the handlebars, but for the most part, they're going to all be the same. Um, to get them up and running, on the left side, you turn the key on. On the middle side, you also, you're going to be turning the key on for some of them. You turn it to on. All of them has to go into neutral in order to start. Start button is the green button on your left thumb for some. All of them will also be black button under the red button. Press and release it. No gears is full automatic. So after you started it, you look on your right again and you're going to put them into H. Once you have it in H, you can leave it there for the remainder of the tour. You don't have to shift it again. Alright? Front brake on your left. Rear brake is on your right foot. Some of them are going to have both brakes on the top, so you don't have to use your foot brake. Alright? Those that have one brake on top, one way to the bottom, you're using both of your brakes the same way. But all of them you have to use both of your brakes. The reason for this might find the bike sliding before it comes to a stop, so I want you to use both brakes. Your accelerator for all of them is the right thumb. All of them is the actual right thumb itself. Press and release. Basically you're going to stop. You press and you keep finger press softly on it and you're going to keep on going to a normal steady pace. Okay? The harder you're pressing on it, the faster it's going to go. The softer you press, the slower it's going to go. If you get scared for any reason, take your finger from the gas. If you scream and hold on to the gas, it cannot save you. <laughs> take your finger off and you should be quite fine. Also, if you get scared, please don't mash the, gra uh, the gas and the brake at the same time. It's not going to stop. Right? Taking your finger off, you should start slowing down so you give enough time to hold on to your brakes itself. Any questions so far? No? Alright. Now, when we go in, the road is not going to be always level. I want you to keep your feet on the bike at all times. Try not to put your feet off the bike. You might rub against the plastic or rub against the wheel. So keep your feet on the bike at all times. Thumbs on the trigger, raise your hand at me. Or you can holler at Danny. We'll come and assist you if you have any trouble. Alright? We are good. Now, in the event you start getting more comfortable on the ATV, please don't try to fish tail or try to do any tricks or anything like that. You could lose control. If you don't want to lose control, and you can go over. The track is not going to be always level. You're going to be out to uh, wash out areas of uh, uh, different areas. All right. Please don't try to force anybody to try and go faster. If you want to go faster, I can put you in the front. I'll take off, make a stop so everybody can get right back together again. Don't try to force yourself to try and go faster to try and keep up with anybody. If you can get too far back from the, uh, the group, I'll make a stop so everybody can get right back together. We are good. All right, we're going to take a practice around here, choose from this one, go right back, and assist you in starting them up. You three. Yeah.
<laughs> We're at an old sugar cane was collected to feature the machine inside the window. You crush it up, you get the sugar cane juice, you take it down to the boiler to so having it boiled. You find a more it boiled, it thickens. From it thickens, leave it harden up, then it'll go and grind it to get raw brown sugar. Okay, basically, you want to get the white sugar, you have to refine it, so I'm like bleaching it. You never get it white from boiling, it always turns brown. Along the one, just a smoke to put the boiler itself. The houses around are all storage houses. The only part that was actually here was the, uh, the great house and also the, uh, the slave bunkers are underneath of it. Almost 20 feet in orange then to get That's the actual fruit that's hanging off right here. Over here, you find, I'm pretty sure you guys know these ones. These ones are all mangoes. Uh, so far, I've planted about 16 different types of mangoes in the garden, probably even more. And basically, you can go pick them and eat them. No pesticides, nothing like that. No poisonous plants, no poisonous animals. We have no snakes in the garden either. You can just go anywhere you like. Yeah, no snakes. They brought the mongooses in to get rid of the snakes, and that's what they did. Even if they do have, uh, they're not going to um, um, uh, last, probably last long. Even if they get out into the wild, the mongooses probably will definitely get them. So. Mm -hmm. I can live with the snakes, just not the spiders. <laughs> Rock a day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some good pictures of you guys. Ah, so, yeah. There's a scented one, the yellow one, there's an unscented one. This is a map. You tumble. Hey. You don't want to go in there. <laughs> nah, this is where we burned the dead bodies. Okay. Oh, okay. It had to be a place. <laughs> just playing. It used to be a water storage tanks. There's still water in them, but no longer use them though. If we remain water source in the rainforest area, we just collect the same rainwater, we filter it, and we distribute it. So our water in the countryside is all fresh water. Nothing has added to it. I think it's starting to actually uh, treat it a little more in some places, but um, in old road area, we it's all fresh water. The town is where they have the big uh, water table there that actually where they treat your water a little more and then they distribute it. I'm used to where there, uh, there's nothing in the water itself, so you're going to the town water, if you're not used to it, you may not like it that much. Just stick to the bottom water. Okay, okay how come the goat's in jail? Hmm? How come the goat's in jail? <laughs> so they'll have them fenced in the area and they'll let them out. Um, uh, they'll have them in that area for a while until they can get, start getting more used to the area itself. Where is he? I don't even see him. He's looking in the window. Oh, there he is. Oh, you've seen him. I would have never noticed. Did you cut him? Yep. Because of all that wool. Yes. So, the other. Cover!
Joe Elvis, the CEO of Spectrum ATV Tours, has brought us to the, what is it, Carambola Beach Club um, on the other side of the island. Really kind of cool little place, but you need a wristband uh, to use the restroom. So, and I take it these tables and um, umbrellas are probably expensive. We haven't done it. We're trying to get some lunch right now, but cool little place. Um, and then you look down the beach and you've got the other side, Nevis, I guess is what that is, um, down that way. All right, well, that's it from the Carambola. <laughs>up our day here in St. Kitts and Nevis. We had a fabulous day. We rode uh, ATVs with Spectrum ATV Rentals, a uh, well-run organization. Uh, they picked us up right off the main dock. Walk off the dock, look to your left. They had a blue sign up, ready to go right there. They piled us into a van. Uh, it was eight of us total, the four of us, then another couple and their son, and then two other people, three other people. So um, any age between, you know, the son was maybe 16 and uh, one of the guys was 75. So pretty much anybody can ride. Um, funny, we were here, we were talking afterwards and uh, the guy that's 75 had a hip replacement to knee replacement. So he wasn't walking well, but he could, he could ride an ATV. Um, the cruise line wouldn't allow him to ride because of his age. Uh, so they went through TripAdvisors, figured it out, booked it directly through TripAdvisors, and uh, they rode, and they rode well. Um, I, my hat's off to one of the employees, Johnny. Johnny looked after my wife, Heather, pretty much the whole afternoon. Heather is not a thrill seeker. She does not like to go fast, uh, especially downhill. She will put the brakes on, and uh, she does not move, move quickly at all, so... But she did okay. She made it through it. Um, there were a couple couple instances where she went off into the weeds and Johnny had a retriever, but she did okay. Uh, Serenade of the Seas is leaving right now. We just saw our friends from Richmond, Emily and Tom, and uh, in town. That was pretty cool. And uh, if you look over my shoulder, it's raining up in the top where the volcanoes are. So very, very cool day. Um, we'd come back here in a second and I would definitely ride ATVs here in a second. I think if I did it again, I'd call them and try and set up a private uh, tour just for uh, us thrills, thrill seekers. I don't know if they do it. I haven't tried it or anything.